An average human in a day sleeps for about 8 hours. Saying this, do you know that in an year which means in 365 days we sleep for about 121 days? And thus if you live for next 75 years, you would have spent almost 25 years of your life sleeping. Isn't it interesting? Well, dreams are one of the most fascinating and mystifying aspects of sleep, where you can fly like Superman, fight with ninja, solve most complex puzzle, and face your most deeper fear or fantasy. The quest to understand the purpose and interpretation of dream is not new to humankind, but date back to more than 1000 years BC. Despite the advancing scientific knowledge, there is much that still remains unknown about both sleeps and dream. Even the most fundamental question is still unresolved, which is, why do we dream? Before we even start scratching our head to understand why we dream, it's absolutely important to know that what are dreams? Well, dreams are image, thoughts or feeling that occur during sleep. Visual imagery is the most common, but dreams can involve all of the senses. Some people dream in color and while other dreams in black and white. People who are blind tend to have more dreams component related to sound, taste and smell. Now when we know at least what is our subject of discussion, let's explore some more theories as when we see dream. Dreams can happen at any time during sleep, but you have your most vivid dreams during a phase called REM that is rapid eye movement when your brain is most active. Some experts say we dream at least four to six times a night. Well, according to scientists, our sleep is usually divided into two parts, REM and NREM. NREM is further split into other section. During a typical night, your sleep alternates through cycles of REM and NREM sleep about every 90 minutes. The REM stage accounts for approximately 25% of sleep time, while the NREM stage takes up the other 75%. Ideally, you want to achieve 5 or 6 full sleep cycle, the equivalent to 7.5 or 9 hours of sleep each night, which make you more refreshed and rested next day. Wait, before we actually discuss REM stage in detail, it's quiz time. Do you know what is REM? Please take a pause and drop your answer in comment box. And also I would recommend you to please click the subscribe button below the video and click the notification bell icon so that you can be a part of our breaking code family. Well let's come back to our topic which is REM sleep. While you are in the REM stage of sleep, your eyes move rapidly back and forth under your closed lid. It is during this stage that most of your dream takes place. At the same time, your muscles become temporarily paralyzed. Well, it's important so that you don't attempt to act out those dreams. REM sleep involves more brain activity than unREM and is considered a more wakeful state as your heart rate and blood pressure increases to level close to what you experience when you are awake. Why is REM sleep important? Well, REM sleep plays a significant role in helping your brain consolidate and process new information. This information is then retained in your long-term memory. REM sleep also helps to ensure better mental concentration and mood regulation. Well, two things that are critical to both your daily work performance and overall quality of life. The negative effects from lack of REM sleep are serious. Without this critical sleep stage, your immune system could be weakened. You may experience pain more deeply and the growth of your new healthy cells and tissue in the body might be blocked. Poor REM sleeps may be due to sleep disorders such as insomnia or obstructive sleep apnea, which causes you to wake during the night. Why do we sleep and dream? By now, we have a fair idea about sleep and dreams. Let's jump straight into why we dream. Although much controversy remains in an attempt to answer this question, research to date suggests that sleep and dreaming are linked to mood control, learning and repair of the body and mind. One night of sleep loss affected post-sleep mood, increasing anxiety and decreasing clear thinking. It is therefore being suggested that dream sleep is associated with learning, 
long term memory consolidation and restoring mental well being in israel a researcher found that consistently interrupting dream sleep is a completely blocking learning it is also proposed that dreams are helping us to adjust to new threats and experiences by comparing them to our inner model of how we see the world and our role in it and making slight adjustment to help us better accommodate life how can i recall my dreams well as you are still watching our video we really appreciate your time and thus sharing with you some key tips to play an important role in recalling your dream so that next time when you wake up and somebody ask you that what you dreamt of in last night you would have at least a story to share there appear to be many factors involving in dream recall when we wake well there is a theory of dreams that are more readily recalled if the state of the brain is more closer to that of the brain after waking up the dream recall from rem sleep would naturally be more frequent than from nrem how we wake up it is best to immediately close your eyes again and go back over the dream before you get up and write it down anything that distracts you upon awakening will interfere with your ability to compose and gather your memory for a dream sleep length people who sleep longer than 8.5 hours would have 50% more rem sleep than people who sleep less than 6.5 hours this tends to be less deep and closer to waking with long dream period based on this information you would expect more recall and longer dream report as people sleep longer frequent awakening frequent awakening during the night increases the likelihood of recalling we all have micro awakening at night sometime turning over but never really become fully conscious or aware of at time however we do fully awake maybe after a particularly emotional dream or simply to go to a bathroom or change the temperature of ac these all can be opportunity for us to dream recall if one takes an advantage of them psychological and personality factors studies have shown that our dream recall is related to openness to experience and people with thin boundaries remember more dream have more complex emotional and longer dreams and spend more time on daydreaming they tend to have lucid dreams they also have more interaction between characters among of amount of negative and positive emotions so if you wish to recall more dreams develop a focus on your inner life brain state and gender related factor assuming that you wake up while the dream is ongoing or ending The best approach for recalling dream is to place your attention on the ongoing dream as you wake up. Try closing your eyes and reviewing the dream before opening your eyes again and moving out of position. Go over the dream completely to store as much as possible in permanent memory. Gender. Well, female dream recalls were greater, particularly for those who had more ability to become absorbed in imagery and measures of creativity. So what we conclude now we all sleep and we all dream every single night but it's still surprising to know that we hardly have some proven facts in place that can answer the questions we all are trying to find as why do we dream this is surender koshal from channel breaking code thanks for watching this video please share it with others so that they can also be a part of our wonderful family thank you